Hello, I'm Kelly Nagel. I'm the social media manager for Sulky of America. And I am Ellen Osten with Sulky of America, National Director of Education. And this is not your typical table topper. Ellen, I'm so excited for these projects. Mm -hmm. They are great. I love table toppers. I have lots of surfaces all over my house and I have to have something quilted or mm -hmm. something fabric on all of them. But I kind of get tired of everything being flat, everything being normal, mm -hmm. square or rectangle. So I came up with this series of four projects to kind of combat that and also quite frankly to solve some problems that I was having when I was entertaining <laughs> which is where we yes. came up with the first mm -hmm. one the entertainment set you can see here believe it or not these are fabric see you could even wash them you just yep. pick them all up I um, love having a bottle of wine on the table for dinner but Gosh, it's yes. kind of tacky, especially if you bought the cheap wine and uh, just sitting there on the yes. table. So I like having the container mm -hmm. to put it in mm -hmm. and why not have it match yes. the decor of and the dining room? And it's got room. lots of sulky sparklies it does. and blendables and the stabilizers inside are what give it the structure so it doesn't go squishy. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know me, yeah. I can't have a project without a little <laughs> bling. So we yes. we did. And it's nice to have a project mm -hmm. you can do free motion on. Yep. This is a great project to kind of start free motion, even if you're a very beginner, mm -hmm. and learn how to, to do it because it's very forgiving. Here, yes. we've got the three different mm -hmm. sizes. You can obviously use it in your sewing studio mm -hmm. to hold things in your dining room, whatever, all around your house. I have one by my coffee mm -hmm. maker with my sugars and another one with mm -hmm. my coffee filters. So I think it's a great project. It really great is. Great ideas, great Lots ideas. Lots of techniques in here. Mm -hmm. You're going to learn about free yes. motion, yes. learn how to do some structure, to do some mm -hmm. faux piping, which is a nice technique to learn. You'll be able to use a couple different needles and Ellen, I borrowed some of your dressmaking <laughs> techniques That's good. in order to yes. make this really look finished mm -hmm. and professional. So I'm excited about this one. You guys are going to love this first project. All right. <clears throat> the next one, I love round things. I actually have several round little tables and surfaces in my house. And so why put a rectangle or a mm -hmm. square on that surface? So but people get scared of round table toppers, Ellen. You're going to give them the secrets? We're going to talk how to keep it laying flat. Yes. How to make it perfectly round. How to just, just we're going to solve all those problems. We're going to show you how to finish off the edge nicely with this fun edge technique with the rick rack. We're going to talk about quilting. We're going to stitch in the ditch. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you my favorite technique on how to turn it and, and just make it lay flat. <laughs> and then we're going to talk about how to finish this center off. Mm -hmm. You can use machine embroidery. You can use hand embroidery. You can just quilt it. There's all kinds of fun ways to finish it. This can be as complicated or as simple as you want it to be. So this is a great technique as well. Taking the fear out of round table toppers. All right, and then we've got, I love matchsticking. You know, I learned how to do matchsticking a few years ago, and now it is my favorite technique. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start you off easy. <clears throat> we're going to show you an easy way to do matchsticking on this, on this placemat. You could, of course, make it into a table runner mm -hmm. or yes. something a little bigger. But we're going to show you that. But you know what? I just couldn't stop there. We ha I've got to show... Well, you're going to show us how to do the free motion binding. And the mm -hmm. binding's a little different on this because we are actually going to quilt the center before we even put the, the borders on. So that's a fun way to do this. Putting these borders on after the center is quilted, I'm going to show you how to do it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to still stay square. Mm -hmm. We're going to still, everything will look great. Even on the back, we're going to look nice. We're gonna show how to do the hand stitching as well as the machine stitching, the free motion, or use your decorative yes. stitches mm -hmm. on your machine. Yep. And then look yes. at the binding here. I didn't buy the binding this way. We made the binding. And I'm gonna show you how to yes. do that too. It's yep. such a fun technique. That is thread there. It's just thread and fabric, which is so cool. It means you mm -hmm. can make it whatever you want yes. it to yes. be contrasting, whatever yep. colors. This is gonna be an exciting class. I'm gonna really pay attention to this one. I'm really excited. This was fun <laughs> to put together. 
I, as you know, addicted to matchsticking. I'm going to show you some tips mm -hmm. and tricks on how to make it really easy. And you've easy. got a couple other samples you're going to share with us. Yes. Okay. Some different techniques or different ways yes. to use it. And we're going to talk about how to do it yeah. on a big quilt. So once you yes. get your, your feet wet with the good, base mat, good. you can use it on a I'm big quilt I'm excited about well. that. Yes. yes. And keeping those lines straight. All right. The last one, the minimalist table uh, topper now this may this is very simple because you know sometimes you need something simple yes around the yes house, either as a wall hanging mm -hmm. or on a table but i also i didn't use a pattern for this mm -hmm. ellen i'm going to show how to create your own pattern mm -hmm. how to kind of do this improv mm -hmm. and if you can tell this is a denim and this is a regular cotton. So you're gonna show how to match them up so they work together? Right. Cool, how very nice. How to match them up. Yes. And you know, it seems so easy to quilt a straight line, doesn't it? Or That's to too sew easy. <laughs> but and, and for a sulky project, we've gotta <laughs> show the tricks of the trading. We sure do, but how many times have you done a bunch of straight lines and you ended up with a bunch of C's mm -hmm. as everything started curving? I'm gonna show you how to sew a straight line to get these straight, perfect, and how to do this improv, how to match different fabrics. And then because this is denim, this is such a thick fabric, mm -hmm. this is that crossroads denim, then you're gonna actually show us how to do mm -hmm. the binding. A single fold binding which that, is so with nice. perfect mitered corners and comes out very, very well and lets us complement and lays nice and flat. Great. Yes. Is this double fold with that, that thick denim mm -mm. just wouldn't work. Mm -mm. So. Um, we're also going to show, show you how to use rulers to do your quilting. You know, that's what long armors do. They use the rulers to do this beautiful quilting. I'm going to show you how to do that on your home machine. And it's so fun because it mm -hmm. opens up a whole nother world yes. to you of different designs that you can do. And another reason to buy a new ruler. Do we need Gosh, another reason? Yes, no. we do. We do. You have permission. We're going to give you permission. It's just a necessity. It's a necessity. Absolutely. So I hope you join us for not not your typical table topper. We're going to have a great time. Yes. You're going to learn some great techniques. And then we're also going to show yeah. you how to take it to the next level. You so will. join us, will you? Yeah, you'll love it. <laughs>